What are the factors to consider when choosing between public and private cloud for AI workloads? So for AI workloads, the usual factors like security, maintenance costs are important, but there are also other factors to be evaluated when choosing private cloud. AI workloads are really sensitive to data locality and latency, uh, which can really be kept under control in the private cloud. And secondly, when it comes to long-running workloads and heavy experiments, you can definitely end up in overspending quite easily in the public cloud, but with an on-prem setup, it can all be easily managed. And lastly, when you think about your software stack, if composability and flexibility is a top priority for you, private cloud is the best option. Otherwise, you might be stuck with public cloud managed services. Let's talk about data. How can on-prem storage systems meet the demanding needs of AI workloads? It's really quite funny. Um, in infrastructure, people tend to focus on compute, on networking, and storage always feels like it's a, a secondary consideration. And that can be a huge mistake, uh, especially with AI workloads, uh, where there's such high demands on the data that's held in a storage system. And that's purely because of the reason of the, you know, the specialized hardware in, in the, an AI-focused infrastructure, the GPUs essentially. They can process so much data, it's like a step change in, in computer architecture once again. Uh, so by using an on-prem uh, scale-out uh, software-defined storage system, you can build something that can provide the performance needed, can scale to the capacities needed, um, but then also um, keep good, a good control over, over the cost uh, of providing that infrastructure. How can one go about building an AI infrastructure on-prem? So start with the hardware. Choose GPUs and CPUs that fit your workloads and are compatible with each other. And also uh, try to oversize to think how you might scale in the future. And when it comes to scaling, it's important you can uh, add new compute nodes or new accelerator types. So the architecture needs to be modular. So make sure that the compute and the storage layer are effectively separated and can be scaled independently. And when it comes to the software stack, if flexibility and long-term longevity of the platform are important for you, adopt open source software and open standards that allow you to avoid vendor lock-in and customize the platform based on your needs. 